Hello everyone. Welcome to the ongoing series on principles and process of biotechnology brought to you by An Academy. This is lesson number 2 which deals with the principles of biotechnology and genetic engineering. This whole collection is presented by me Vimal Singh Rathore. You can follow me on An Academy at this username link. Now till now we have studied about the structure of DNA. In this slide we will study about the principles of biotechnology. First of all, let us define what is biotechnology. So, it may be defined as the use of microorganisms, animals or plant cells or their products to generate different products at industrial scale and services useful to humans. In the layman terms, it can be said that it is the use of living organisms for the betterment of mankind. So, if you recall even before the advent of this technology we were using the natural capability of living organism for the benefit of mankind for example we were producing alcohol from the yeast by the process of fermentation we were getting this citric acid from aspergillus niger acetic acid from acetobacter aceti and many more such examples are there so can you tell me what may be the difference between those traditional practices and today's biotechnology okay let me tell you what we are doing in biotechnology we are modifying the natural characteristic of a living organism to suit the human needs okay this is the revolutionary reform revolutionary concept in this biotechnology so let me give you the crisp idea the concise idea what may be what is the process of biotechnology what we are doing in this technique we are isolating a particular gene of interest okay and we are pasting it we are transferring it to another living organism to confer it certain desirable characteristic hence we are changing this particular living organism to suit the human desire or human need okay so what are the two core techniques that gave birth to the modern biotechnology what may be these techniques number 1 it is genetic engineering and number 2 it is the maintenance of sterile ambience for the process we will study in detail about these genetic this genetic engineering recombinant dna and gene cloning in the later lessons so just to get the crisp idea let me tell you that genetic engineering includes the creation of recombinant dna and then this recombinant dna is transferred to the host which is multiplied with the help of gene cloning procedures okay let's move on to the next slide which includes the basic concepts on genetic engineering which is also known as recombinant dna technology or gene splicing why it is known as gene splicing because it involves the cutting of dna from the donor organism from the donor dna we cut a particular gene of interest and we cut the plasmid dna to make the space for this gene of interest so that, this this involves various cutting that, uh, that is why it is known as gene splicing so let me define it again it involves the cutting of desired segments of dna that is a gene of interest from a donor organism okay and pasting it in a vector to produce a recombinant dna now this vector is also a dna in which we are pasting a gene of interest to form the recombinant dna now this recombinant dna is transferred to the host for its maintenance and then multiplication okay so this is the definition of genetic engineering paul berg is the father of genetic engineering he got nobel prize for his experiments in 1980 now what are the two significant discoveries that help in the genetic engineering evolution number 1 it is plasmid and number 2 it is restriction endonucleases so what are plasmids plasmids is a category of vector which is the extra chromosomal dna in the bacterial cell okay these plasmids are the extra chromosomal dna in the bacterial cell which are autonomously replicated they are replicated by themselves okay so this is the prior uh, this is the ideal thing this is the ideal dna 
to transfer a gene of interest into the bacterial cell so these this is one of the most important discoveries which helped in the genetic engineering evolution now number second is restriction endonuclease now what are these restriction endonucleases these are enzymes these are enzymes which cut a particular strand of dna at specific sites these specific sites are known as recognition sites so because these restriction endonucleases splice or cut the dna at a specific site that is why they are known as molecular scissors because with the help of these enzymes we can cut the dna at the specific site at which we desire because there is a specific restriction endonuclease for any specific site okay so this is the basic principle of genetic engineering hope you guys will like it and if there is any problem if there is any doubt in the lesson which i just taught you please submit your comments below hope you guys will like it thank you for watching the lesson it was brought to you by an academy just spread the word thank you